Yo, what's up everybody, it's Mustafa, your tech sage for the digital age, and we are back with another banger because Apple just dropped iOS 18.2. This ain't just some bug fix update though, we're talking next level features here. Think Siri on a whole new level thanks to ChatGPT, cameras that are practically psychic and an email experience that doesn't make you want to chuck your phone across the room. Yeah, Apple brought the heat this time. So, whether you're rocking the latest iPhone 16 Pro Max, or you're still killing it with an older model, stick around because I'm breaking down all the best new features in iOS 18.2, and most importantly, how to actually use them. Let's dive in. Alright, first up, let's talk about the big one, Siri. Now Siri's been getting better over the years, but this update? This is a game changer. Apple integrated ChatGPT right into Siri. And it's like Siri went from being that friend who's kind of clueless to the brainiac of the group. We're talking about actually helpful answers here, people. Want to know the meaning of life? Siri can probably give you a pretty good answer now, or at least a more coherent response than I'm sorry. I don't understand. But seriously, this opens up a whole new world for what you can do with Siri. Need a quick summary of a long document? Tell Siri to analyze it. Want to settle a debate about quantum physics? Siri can probably explain it better than your friend who swears they aced physics in high school. To unlock the full potential though, make sure you're signed into ChatGPT within the Siri settings. This syncs everything up and lets you access those sweet sweet premium features if you're a ChatGPT Plus subscriber. And, real talk, nobody likes those constant handoff prompts from Siri, so I'm going to show you how to disable those in settings as well. Trust me, it makes the experience way smoother. Next up, we're diving into a feature that's exclusive to the iPhone 16 and 16 Pro, Visual Intelligence. This is where things get really futuristic. Basically, your iPhone camera is now smart enough to actually understand what it's looking at. We're not just talking about recognizing faces here, this is next level stuff. Imagine this, you're walking down the street and you see a flyer for a concert. Instead of awkwardly trying to take a picture of it, you just point your camera at it. Visual intelligence kicks in and boom, it recognizes it's a concert flyer. You can tap to buy tickets right there, add the event to your calendar, or even get directions to the venue. But it doesn't stop there. Point your camera at a dog and it can identify the breed. Focus on a restaurant and you can pull up reviews and ratings. It's like having a super-powered Google search bar built right into your camera. And the best part, it's incredibly intuitive to use. Just open your camera app, hold down that camera control button, and let the magic happen. Okay, let's be real. Writing on a phone can be a pain. But iOS 18.2 is here to make you sound like a Shakespearean scholar, even if you struggle to write a grocery list. Apple's new writing tools are powered by AI, and they're here to take your emails, notes, and messages to the next level. Here's how it works. You highlight any text you've written, whether it's a quick note or a full-blown email, and you'll see an option to revise with AI. Tap that, and it's like having a personal editor on call 24-7. You can tell the AI exactly what you want to change. Want your message to sound more friendly? Done. Need to make it more formal for your boss? No problem. And get this, there's even a compose option. Let's say you need to write an email to your landlord, but you have no idea where to start. Just tell the AI, write me an email to my landlord about a leaky faucet, and it will draft up a professional, well-written email for you. It's seriously a game-changer for anyone who spends a lot of time writing on their phone. Alright, this next feature is just plain fun. Remember when emojis first came out and we all wished we could create our own? Well, with iOS 18.2 you can. The new Genmoji feature lets you design your own custom emojis. Want to create an emoji that looks exactly like you? You got it. Feeling creative and want to make some wacky, out-there designs? Go for it. The possibilities are endless and it's a great way to add some personality to your messages. But wait, there's more. Apple also added a feature called Image Wand, and it's like magic for anyone who can't draw to save their life. Myself included. Let's say you're taking notes and want to add a quick sketch. With Image Wand, you can draw your best attempt at a stick figure, Tap a button, and the AI will transform it into a clean, refined image. No more embarrassing doodles. Okay, let's be honest, the default mail app hasn't seen a major redesign in what feels like forever. But Apple finally heard our cries for help, 
because the mail app in iOS 18.2 is a breath of fresh air, especially if you're prone to inbox anxiety. The biggest change is the new category system. Now instead of one giant, overwhelming inbox, your emails are automatically sorted into categories like primary, transactions, updates, and promotions. This makes it so much easier to find what you're looking for without scrolling through a million spam emails. And for those of us who subscribe to a ton of newsletters, guilty, the new Digest View is a lifesaver. It groups all your newsletters and receipts into one easy-to-read list, so you don't have to hunt them down individually. But the best part? You can customize your notification settings for each category. Tired of getting bombarded with notifications for every single promotional email? Just set it to notify you only for emails in your primary category and enjoy the peace and quiet. Chapter 6. Find My Get Social Sharing is Caring and Finding. We've all been there. You lose something important, and you're frantically trying to remember where you last saw it. Well, iOS 18.2 just made finding your lost items a whole lot easier, especially if you're part of the Apple ecosystem. The Find My app now lets you share the location of your AirTags and other Apple devices with anyone, even if they don't have an Apple ID. So, let's say you lose your keys at a friend's house. You can send them a tracking link and they'll be able to see the exact location of your keys, even if they're buried under a mountain of clutter. But it gets even better. Let's say you're traveling and you lose your luggage. We've all been there, right? With the new Find My Sharing, you can send a tracking link directly to the airline. And they'll be able to locate your bag and get it back to you. It's like having your own personal lost and found network, and it's incredibly useful for anyone who's prone to misplacing things. Chapter 7, Camera Control, Channel Your Inner Photographer. All right, photography enthusiasts, this one's for you. iOS 18.2 introduces a feature called the Two-Stage Shutter, and it's a game changer for anyone who wants to take their iPhone photography to the next level. Now you might be thinking, what's the big deal about a two-stage shutter? Well, it's a feature that's been around on DSLRs for ages, and it gives you much more control over your focus and exposure. Here's how it works. When you half-press the shutter button, the camera locks the focus and exposure, so you can recompose your shot without worrying about anything changing. Then, when you fully press the button, it takes the picture. This might seem like a small change, but it makes a huge difference in the quality of your photos, especially in low light or when you're trying to capture a specific moment. And the best part? You can customize the double-click speed in the accessibility settings so you can find the perfect setting for your shooting style. Chapter 8. Accessibility AirPods Pro 2 just got even better. Apple's always been a leader in accessibility features, and iOS 18.2 is no exception. This time around, they've made some major improvements to the AirPods Pro 2, specifically for users with hearing impairments. The biggest update is the expanded availability of the personalized sound profile feature. This feature, which was previously only available in a few countries, uses a series of hearing tests to create a custom audio profile that's tailored to your specific hearing needs. It's like having a mini hearing aid built right into your AirPods, and it can make a huge difference in the clarity and quality of your audio experience. And with iOS 18.2, this feature is now available in even more countries, including the UK, France, and Spain. So there you have it, folks. iOS 18.2 is a beast of an update, packed with features that are both useful and fun to use. From the chat GPD-powered Siri, to the smarter cameras and the redesigned mail app, Apple really outdid themselves this time. But now I want to hear from you. Which feature are you most excited to try out? Let me know in the comments down below. And hey, if you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to TechSage 86 Bits for more tech breakdowns, tips, and tutorials. Until next time, peace out. All right, that's a wrap on the new features and how to use them. From chat GPT-powered Siri to smarter cameras and mail management, iOS 18.2 is one of the most powerful updates we've seen yet. Which feature is your favorite? Drop it in the comments. If this video helped you out, smash that like button, subscribe to TechSage 86 Bits, and stay tuned for more tech breakdowns, tips, and tutorials. See you in the next one.